Check this out. <clears throat> Just look, look at all those tadpoles. Hey adventurers, today it's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Uh, myself and Zeev decided to drive up into the Santa Monica Mountains uh, to come look for stuff. Uh, this area right here is really gorgeous. It's one of my favorites. There's actually an older video uh, that I posted that was from the same area. Uh, I'll try to link to it. Um, but you can see just like the scenery is really cool. I really love how sort of these black trees look. It, there was a fire here and so they're all charcoal, but there's so much green growing out of them still. It's really a uh, pretty and exciting place. Um, we're hoping to find some snakes. The weather is perfect for a hike, perfect for snakes. Uh, so stay tuned. We might find uh, something really cool to share with you. Now this is a view. Check that out. Gorgeous day. Looking down at the ocean. Uh, even if we don't find much, uh, this is definitely still just a lovely day to be out for a hike. So stay tuned. What'd you catch? Whoa, that thing's huge. Oh, there goes a, there goes a the fence big, lizard. It's full of stuff. Whoa. It's not as big as the one we found up in the mountains the other day, but. It's definitely a bit so strikier. Nice. Super pink, look at that. Yeah. Oh, it's, it smells really bad. <laughs> not as bad as garter snake mice. I am ready. Bye bye. So this place has a lot of lizards, a lot of lizard activity today. This is our fence lizard. Uh, they are like one of our small but bulky lizards. Do some push-ups. I think they're saying like, I'm not afraid of you. Look at how strong I am. But yeah, Western fence lizard. Oop. He just jumped over there. There we go. Very, very common. We'll see a lot of these today. There are a ton of tadpoles in there. Look at them all. Look at them all. This is perfect snake food uh, for some of these aquatic snakes. Look at them all. It's a whiptail. Western whiptail, subspecies California whiptail. Just ran away. Check that out! No, that's a nice looking whiptail snake. So pretty. So fat. These guys are pretty easy to identify. Um, they have nice blotches on the back there. They have a, an eye line too on the face. Um, yes, there you go. Um, they have similar patterns to the rattlesnakes. This one not so much. Uh, yeah, usually they do. This one's a little bit aberrant. But obviously they don't have a rattle. Right. Long shin neck and their head is more or less even with their neck. As the rattlesnakes have the big bulging pit bull cheeks. Beautiful snake. Look at that iridescence. Yeah. Right one of the, the tail. one of the nice things about gopher snakes is they're often fairly easy to handle. Um, I mean, any any snake can can bite you, but uh, gophers are generally pretty calm, um, just like this one is. Beautiful. Huh. It's just sitting right there in the sun. Time for a little snake selfie here. Nice. Couldn't do this with all snakes. Some of them are. Some of them bite you in the face. Let's find your rattlesnake to do it with. No, thank you. Time for you to go back on your way. All right, well, unfortunately this isn't going to be picked up in the GoPro, but there with the binoculars, I can see a two-striped garter snake swimming around. Must be hunting for those tadpoles. Hopefully we'll get a closer look. There's a nice close-up of all those tadpoles feeding. It's 
These are probably tree frog tadpoles. Um, now we do, we are spotting some more two-stripe garter snakes, but they usually spot us first, and so they take off, and we only see their, their tails went around before I can get the camera out. Oh! Oh! Zeev's, Zeev's spotted one. Let's see if, uh... There's three, wow. There's two right in the reeds there. And there's one, you see that one blade of grass or reed right there? The green one, right the little one right there? Uh, you see it? Yes, maybe. Right to the left of it, over a reed, there's one looking right at us. It's the, there's a coil of the body over the reed, into the water, and then the head sticking out. You see that? All right, let's see if we can zoom in. And and... There's another one swimming through in the back over there. Behind there, swimming across. Look, you see where there's like those dead uh, there? Yeah. The dead things? Look, swimming right underneath Oh, there. yep, yep, yep. All right, let's see if we just show the audience. Man, there's a lot of them here. One, there you go. It's kind of far away, but should be able to make that out in the video. Just over that, draped over that little log looking towards us. And then, let's see. There might be another one swimming. Yeah, there's one swimming off in the open water over there. Look, it's going to swim across right there. See it? Swimming uh, way out over there. Oh, yeah. You see the ripples there. There it goes. Swimming around. That's four garters just in this one spot right here. Yeah, so four. And another one right over there. Oh, that sounds like there was another one. Four in this spot, maybe a fifth. And then we had two sightings earlier, so... Six or seven. seven. Yeah. All right, folks, you got to check this out. I showed you that there's a ton of tadpoles, but that dark spot there is just, it's just swarming with them. I do not, I don't think I've ever seen them in such a dense clump unless it's like drying out. But you can see plenty, plenty of water for them to spread out in. So many of them. Just look at that. back in a couple weeks after they uh, yeah, see how many of them make it. This is, he's going to scoop them out. Look at that. Didn't even have to try. He's got a bunch in his hand. There you go. Look at that. Tadpole. Yeah. How come the snakes aren't here? Looks like a big buffet. Unless they already ate their fill. Hey, these guys. Nope, there they go. I think this is the great tadpole migration. Look at they're just crawling on the edge here. Just so freaking many of them. Look at them all. Look. Look at this. Here's my hand. Scoop. Look. How amazing is that? Swim away, little, little froggies. And just everywhere here. Okay, this is a little different. But that is a really big pile of poop. You know, it looks like it's got a lot of hair in it, so probably from something that's eating mammals and things like that. Due to the size, I'm thinking this is a mountain lion. Oh no, what's that? Oh, nothing. That's just a tree. Cool, cool, cool. Go around, go around. Uh, I, I lost him. Um, just keep, keep watching there, because he can't come out unless he passes one of us. Let's see where. Oh, just stay there. I'm gonna start working toward you. Let's see up, higher, lower. Probably went lower. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm st I still don't. Yeah. yeah, if you didn't leave the trees, here somewhere. 
Was it like a baby race? Oh, or? sorry. I see him. I see him. I see him. Uh, it is, is racer. Right? It's a racer. Where, where he? He's facing me. Facing you. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to grab him out of the. Wait, I, I like that he's standing still. Look at that. Snake in a tree. Who knew snakes could climb trees? Well, I knew, but but I don't see it too often. Very, very cool. All right, I think Zeev's gonna try to grab him. Is he still looking at you? He's still looking at me. You're welcome to... Taking my eyes off him. Let me know if he starts moving, okay? He's moving. He's moving. He's moving up. Up, 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 ah. up. Up! This whole branch came off of my hand. He went straight up. Yeah, there he is. Hanging on a tree. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I just grabbed the branch and I just went flying. There you go. He is high on the tree. He's uh, too high. Higher than me? Yes. On this side. On your side? Yeah. All right, I'm going to put my phone down oh, and we'll, we'll try to catch him. Oh, he's coming down. down. Stay on that side, all right? All right, GoPro, capture this amazing catch of a snake. Oh, he's going flying, he's jumping. You see him? Oh, oh I see him, I see him. I see him. He's, he's towards you. I know. Now I lost him again. Man, they're fast. Yeah, I went to grab him and I really wasn't anywhere close. He's still, he's still here in the tree somewhere. Yeah. I suspect he's on your side. So we may have lost the snake. It was really agile, just moving through this tree, just really like like it was nothing, like it was just a solid surface. There's some birds and stuff down here. Um, but that was another striped racer. This one was a lot younger than the first one we saw. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well. Oh, oh, oh. Is he back up? He's right. He's right up there. Oh, I see him. Oh, he goes go. for the lunge, and he's he disappeared again. <laughs> Snake man. Somewhere in here, but yeah, that's crazy. Just how. Uh, you know, he, he, the snake is just like jumping from this sort of low area over here, which is like maybe like a foot or two off the ground. And then like the next time we find him, he's like six feet up in the air. And... I thought I had him that time. Don't see him yet, but I think he's still somewhere. Somewhere in this tree. Uh, I see him. I see him. He's near you. He's near you. Where? In the tree or on the ground? Well, he moved. He moved as soon as I spotted him. Where was he? So he was... I, oh, I, oh, there he is. I could... Out. He's coming out to the bottom. Go in front of the tree. Stay right there. He's coming out your way. On the ground or in the yeah, tree? He was on the ground. He might go back in the tree, but just stay there in case he tries to uh, dip out of the tree across the trail. So with this snake, I mean, it's hard to see with the with the GoPro probably the where the snake is um, it's because it's so camouflaged so well, but really we're only seeing like a glimpse uh, or like its belly. Uh, and so this last spotting, I saw the the pink that it has at the tail, which is kind of kind of neat for these guys. Um, but most of the other sightings, I've seen more of the cent center part of the, of the belly uh, and it's that yellowish color. But hopefully if he's not, if he hasn't, he may evade us today, but It'd be nice to show you that up up close. Um, although you may have seen it in my other, in some of the other videos uh, that have come out not that long ago. I think we respect the fact that he's one hell of an evasive snake and we let him be. Yeah, that might be. Also, the oak is tearing my arms up. Yeah. This snake, Got may have us, may yeah. have beaten us today. But we will find him again. We live to fight another day. Oh well, okay. Given up. 
moving on to find something else. Very, very exciting. Unfortunately, not that climactic. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Nice. Deep in shed. Okay, go ahead, put it back down. I don't want it to dry out, it's really moist in here. Oh. <laughs> That's an interesting looking gopher. Nice. nice. Yeah, so that gopher, just under that big piece of metal, I don't even know, some wheel. Deep Look at shed. it. Yeah, check out that eye color right there, that, that bright, uh, let's focus a little bit better. All right, there we go. It's got these pretty, pretty, pretty eyes. I mean, it's not, it's not trying to be a model or anything like that. That means it is ready to shed. Um, the scales around its body are gonna, gonna fall off or it's gonna strip them off in some way. Um, and it'll get a new fr fresh set of scales and it'll probably be a lot more bright in color too. Yeah, interesting pattern on this one. Very muted pattern. Yeah. Almost all dark. It's very difficult. Like I, like we were saying before, they're often sort of very blotchy on the on the back, um, and this these blotches really do blend into one another. It's a good size one too. Yeah, show them how, show them how big it is. I got to back up a bunch. Uh, it is almost as tall as Ziv is there. Pretty, pretty close. Five feet, probably. Yeah. Four and a half by eight. His head's on the ground, and his tail's up. I'm five, eight, and the tail comes up to me right to my chin. So. What? Five feet. What a monster of a snake. All right. And like, like we said before, you can see, really, really calm, easy to handle. Um, again, don't, uh, you know, any snake can bite you. Right. Um, but. Uh, gopher snakes are generally pretty calm and when easy to handle. When they bite, it hurts though. I've been bitten. They have a nasty bite, but it's not often. But it's crazy. Right there is where the rattlesnake was showing up. And right under here was this gopher snake. We're speaking of which, I'm going to release him. He's in shed. I don't want him to stress too much. Uh, let's see where he can get under here again from. So go to here. So we're going to let him just go right back under there. And be on his way. Beautiful. All right, let's find some more snakes. A whole family of bunnies. No, not no. quite. A whole family of people back there. Oh, so cute. It's a nice little cottontail here. That rattlesnake is probably out looking for one of those. Yeah, maybe. Well, it is turning into be a very productive day. Um, I think we're at 16 snakes at this point. It's a little hard to count all the garter snakes since we keep like spotting them uh, swimming across the water, but can't get very many good looks at them or, or really any video of them. And uh, yeah, but that's like a really, you know, double digit herp day is, or digit little bit snake day is like really good. And uh, at this point, it's only about like four in the afternoon, so we still have a little bit more time to keep searching and finding stuff. So, as I catch my breath, stay tuned. Maybe we'll have another steak or two or something, something even cooler to show you. So, of course, while I was filming, Zeev hiked up ahead and found another snake for us, but I don't really know how far ahead he is. Oh, there you are. Right up in the center of the trail. So Zeev said that he just got buzzed by a rattlesnake, which means that the rattlesnake rattled, tried to scare him off. It did not work. Zeev's still there. Where are we looking? Walk around. Walking around. Find him. If come to where I am, you can see him directly. And I cannot. Oh my goodness! Look at that. He is. Whoa! Yeah, he is it was a scary moment. Right in there. It's a okay, big old. Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Going down here. Okay. Come here, buddy. He is 
warmed up, he's hot in more ways than one. Get you out here. Look at that. A very good looking little Hellerai. Now this is of course why we don't get too close to these snakes because they can be quite aggressive sometimes. Or well, well rather they, they can be defensive. You know, it's very defensive. He does not want to bite me, but he wants to make sure that I don't harm him in any way. So even though I felt like I was pretty far away when I was taking a closer know, look in, you want more video? I'm, this I'm is good. You can let him. Uh, you can let him continue on his way. Beautiful. Look at that. They make him real nice here in, the, in these mountains. And there he goes. Keep finding them, man. Yeah. Snake after snake after snake. Just giving us little warning rattles. It's very different than defense rattles. It's like I'm here. Be careful. I'm just walking over here, right? I'm looking at these uh, this fence over here. And I like my my stick brush the bush right here, and he was sitting right right here. If he wanted to, he could have totally tagged me right here if he wanted to. But uh, but they don't want to tag you, you know. They want to go on with their day. Yeah. So that's what he's doing. Now we'll go find some more. You can hear that rattling in there. That is another western rattlesnake, uh, specifically a southern Pacific rattlesnake. Scared the, scared me quite a lot. I think it was sunbathing right up on here, maybe dredge out like this. And even though I was maybe five feet away from it, uh, it, you know, it started rattling just to warn me and then slid back into that area. Can we see it? No, I think it, I think it's well under this big rock here, but always, uh, you always got to pay attention. So I think that this hill right behind me is the prettiest hill we've seen all day. So I thought it'd be a good place to stop and give my outro. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.